Hey everybody, Roger Levin here with your Orthodontic Practice Production Pearl of the Week. We're gonna stay in the management consulting realm for this pearl and talk about scheduling, a topic that I'm uh, talking about a lot right now in these pearls, because scheduling controls whether or not you hit your annual production goal. And if you don't think so, watch some of my other pearls where I explain that. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the concept of an overflow chair. We pioneered this almost 30 years ago. Not everybody can do it, not everybody has space, but if you do, the overflow chair will grow your production, grow your flexibility, lower your stress, and improve the patient experience. Because what goes in the overflow chair? And that chair, if you're busy enough, should have an assistant as well. First of all, we put our observation patients there. I won't get into it in this pearl, but observation is the worst run system, and it's a system in most orthodontic practices. We now mathematically estimate with data, you will lose somewhere between two and five million dollars of revenue. Two and five million dollars of revenue by the way you run your observation program, and it's going to get worse as orthodontic competition is now expanding due to other delivery models and competition with fees that sometimes are half of yours. So, having said that, back to the overflow chair. We put our observation patients in the overflow chair, no problem scheduling them. We put our emergencies in the overflow chair. Instead of blowing up the office, blowing up the schedule, when we get an emergency call, we've got a lot of flexibility. And although most orthodontic emergencies are not true emergencies, they think they are. We want to get them in. We want them to know we're there when they need us. And the overflow chair doesn't disrupt the main chair schedule. Patients who run late, you're 20 minutes late, you are gonna mess up that chair and column and assistant for until lunch or the end of the day, depending on morning or afternoon. Now, we move that patient to the overflow chair. Mrs. Jones, I'm so glad you and Johnny are here. As you know, we had expected you at three o'clock, so we're running a bit late. Uh, other patients have been moved around and we're gonna see Johnny so you don't have to come back, but it's go it will probably take a little longer than normal. Mrs. Jones says, great, I don't have to come back. It's wonderful, I'm late. No accusation, lovely customer service, building great relationships with patients. And then anything else, patient comes on the wrong day, anything abnormal goes in the overflow chair. If you're running late on a patient in another chair, you could even move them to the overflow chair. Don't do it too often, but it's doable. As always, I wish you increased practice production every year and referrals, and I'll see you next week.